Too hot. Come on now, man. This is quality pork you're getting. Oh. oh. Be a good boy, Garp. Put down the car and come back with us quietly. That's right. We came into being the same way, you and us. We're like brothers. No! Here we see Tracy the Otter banging away at a clan. And now for the next big question. What do you think Tracy the Otter will do next? Let me see. Does it have something to do with eating the clam? has been reported near former District 4, Gugenzika, Shibuya Ward. This is a code 1803. Oh. Shaoshin, get over here now! Let's go! <laughs> Wow, Miss Miki. Those three. There's no way they're human.
Morning. Oh. <sighs> Coffee. Huh? What happened last night, Hotshot? The cable that goes to the fuel pump got disconnected somehow. A and the night before that? A few of those ceramic tiles they use for heat shielding came off. Those things will pop off at the drop of a hat, you know. And the night before Denise, that? what's the matter with you today? What in the world are you so angry about? I'm sure you've been having a ball lately. You've got that great big toy to play with. What am I here? A waitress in a diner. Which is great. I mean, you're so good at cooking. That's not the point, Mr. Smarty Pants. Mm -hmm. Dear Miss Annis Farm, as part of the Tokyo Redevelopment Project, we are in the process of forming a central information center. In conjunction with this, we would like to hire you as a member of the Sociological Statistics Department staff and humbly inform you of this intention. Additional references regarding this invitation have been included here. Annis, what does this mean? You know as well as I do that I can't contribute anything to what's going on in this place. Which is why I've wound up here flipping burgers and refilling empty coffee cups. Bro, you're gonna come along with me, aren't you? I've supported you and your dreams the whole time we've been here. Now it's my turn to follow mine. Anis, the launch is scheduled for this date. And this is today. You see what I mean? I can't walk away now when we're so close to the payoff. Okay, I understand you. Which means I guess it's time we split up and went our separate ways, Ro. It makes sense to me. I mean, it's not like we're married or anything. Huh? Hey! Hey, Annis, wait up! Hold on a minute, Ro. This isn't the time to go after her. Just leave it to me and everything will work out fine for you. You know, I was quite a lady killer back in the day. Left more than a few broken hearts behind too. Woman in every port, that kind of thing. <laughs> Annis, Annis, honey. Gone? Where is it? I don't believe this. Did she actually leave me? Hi, Miki, what's up? You have any idea what time it is right now? It's like five o'clock. I actually have the day off today. 
What? Oh, yeah, that whole incident yesterday. I, I saw it on the news. They think some radical sponsored a terrorist bombing. You don't think that was it at all? All right. Yeah, I got it, so I'll see you later, okay? Hi, everybody. I hope you're ready for a good morning, because it's time for the Good Morning Show! Wow, you look totally worn out, Miki. It's been non-stop since yesterday. You said before that the perps weren't normal. Were they armed with bazookas or something? They were cyborgs. Impossible! There are only three successful cyborgs in the world, and those are Ro, Annis, and myself. You know as well as I do that cyborg conversion isn't a walk in the park. Memory and Fritz are dead, which only makes matters more difficult. And their technology and know-how was at least ten years ahead of its time. But these guys couldn't be normal humans. Could a human get crushed by a collapsed building? and then get back up and jump 20 meters into the street? All right, you've convinced me. I believe what you say, and I'll see if I can't figure out what's going on here. <sighs> I'll do it. But if what you're saying is true, this could be a tough one to crack. Hello, you must be Miss Anna's farm. Mm -hmm. We've been expecting you. I'm Hidaka from the Human Resource Department of the Central Information Center. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hidaka. Pleasure's all mine. Here, let me carry that for oh. you. Uh, no, really, that's okay. Sorry for the trouble. Here, let me at least carry him. That's a charming teddy bear you got there. Wow, you participated in the Heaven's Gate construction project? That's really wonderful. Oh, no. Not as wonderful as you might think. I'm just a glorified handyman, that's all. I was in engineering, but it got sucked into management. I can give you a tour sometime, though. Thank you. I'd love to see the place. Sorry to change the subject so awkwardly, but you aren't married by any chance, are you? No, I'm not married. Are you seeing anyone? Not really. Not right now. If you'll wait right here just a second, I'll go get our passes. Okay. Put this badge on, please. Sure. It'll get you in anywhere. So, I heard you were a teacher for a while in Sisonic School. You used to be here before the Great Collapse. Oh, yes. Sometimes it seems like the things that happened back then are all just part of a dream. 
made arrangements for you to stay at a hotel until you find a place to settle down here. Thanks. You've taken care of everything for me. Oh, no problem. It's not every day I get to meet a woman as attractive and intelligent as you. It's my uh, pleasure. You're far too kind, Mr. Hadaka. Ah, you can see your hotel from here. It's right over there. Say, guess my advice didn't work out so well. All right, no problem. In that case, we'll just use this. Mm -hmm. ah! Hey! What? Stop! Holy crow! Everybody, get up here and check this out. There's a crack in the fuselage here. Must be metal fatigue or something. Hmm. Boy, this looks really bad. We'll just have to check all 1,700 points before going any further. Ah, uh, that's what? At least a three-month delay in the launch. How can this happen? You'd better get going now, Ro. Actually, wait a minute. I have something I need to talk to you about first, if that's okay. This is a telex that came this morning. Read it. Dear Mr. Jeda Hassan, there are indications in an incident that took place in Tokyo recently that lead us to believe the suspects in question are cyborgs. As a member of the Borgman Project, we request that you report immediately to the Central Police Headquarters of Japan as a witness in this case. Sincerely yours, Japan National Police Central Headquarters, Special Investigations, Katsura Miki. Miki? What, you know her? Well, yeah, but that's not the point. The point is, I had no idea you were part of the Borgman Project. Yeah, I was with them for a while. But listen, Ro, what do you know about the Borgman Project? Are you kidding? I'm one of the Borgman. Huh? Ro, you're a Borgman? <laughs> wow, I never would have guessed it, man. That memory sure does some quality work. Memory's dead. What? Memory? Memory's dead? Along with Mesh, Fritz, and Remens, all of them are dead now. Well, I guess that makes me and one other guy the only ones left from the whole project. There was somebody else participating in the Borgman project? Yeah, but he disappeared about halfway into the project, so I guess he doesn't really count. In any case, we'd better hurry up and get our butts over to Japan. Sounds good. So is this information reliable or what? It's from a pretty trustworthy source, Lieutenant. And we think it might have something to do with why the captain was called out to Central. Yeah, special investigations. Hey, Chuck, you got a call, and it's a woman. Yes, it's Chuck Swagger here. Oh, Annis, it's you. It's been a while. Really? You're over in Tokyo now, huh? And what about Ro? Oh, that moron should know better. What a loser. Sure, no problem. How about Minyan Rapongi? say 10 o'clock? Exactly, it's right over there near the station. All right, I'll see you then. Was that Annis? Sure was. You want to come along?
Well, how nice to see you again, little Miss Mickey. Thank you for your patronage. Of course. Little Miss Mickey? My father owns the company that owns this restaurant. What do you know? <laughs> I can't oh, believe so it. see you. Wow, Anna, you look fantastic. It's amazing what three years can do to a woman. Oh, stop it, Chuck. You're such a flirt. Besides, it's probably just the makeup. No, really. I mean it. You look great. Thank you for coming this evening. Here's our menu. Thank you. Hmm. I know absolutely nothing about Chinese food. It's pathetic. Why don't you order for us, Miki? Is that okay with you, Ennis? Sounds good to me. Okay. We'll have this and this. Do you know if the pigeon kawaiya was smoked with quality wood? Yes, of course. Then we'll have some of that, too. Very good. Thank you. Your order will be right out. So how is Ro doing anyway? I don't know. He's probably all caught up in tweaking his precious rocket. Oh, come on now, Annis. Don't you think what you did was a little selfish, too? I guess I was just sick of living with Mr. Indecisive. You know how bad he can be. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I can't fault you there, but you must have known he was like that before you moved in with him. It's true. I suppose I did. Miki, stop eating for a second and say something. Anything. There are plenty of other men to choose from, honey. Hey! Oh, you're the only one for me, baby. Honey. <laughs> <clears throat> There's something else I wanted to talk to you about. There's been incidents lately, things that could only have been carried out by cyborgs. But there were only three cyborgs that were ever successfully made, Chuck. You and me and Ro, that's it. I know. That's why this thing is so strange. And it gets stranger. There's been a series of suspicious disappearances as well. And all of the disappearances have taken place in locations along the coastline here. And if you map them out, this is what you get. And at the center of all this is... The middle of the ocean? Not quite. This map is three years old. There's an actual location out there now. Heaven's Gate. Huh? We were pressing ahead with the investigation, but we started catching some serious heat from high-up government officials once we hit on Heaven's Gate. It plays an integral role in the government's new energy policy. It's the symbol of revival for the entire country. I think I might know a person who could get me into Heaven's Gate. Really? Right now is a bad time for our people to move on this. Could you do this for us, Annis? Of course. There's no way I'd sit on the sidelines if cyborgs are involved in criminal activity. Which space plane flight will get us to Tokyo the fastest? I'm sorry, sir. All space plane flights have been canceled for the next three days. But why? There have been safety concerns about the rocket engines. Really? This is all your fault, Hassan. Those space planes use the same rocket systems that we're working on. If something happens and we can't get there on time, I'm gonna kill Enough you. Enough already! We'll just have to settle for a regular jet flight. It'll only take half a day. <laughs> sure. How about today? There's a public relations tour taking place at the center later today, I think. If I sign you up as a special participant, you'll get to walk around the entire facility there. The center doesn't actually begin operations until next week. So you don't have to worry about a thing, Annis. It's all taken care of. Fine. So I'll see you at noon, then. Pale, Annis. Are you feeling all right? Oh, yes, I'm feeling fine, Mr. Hidaka. Just shaking off the last of the jet lag, that's all. Six thousand kilometers above the Earth. 
The total surface area of the solar cell panels is 40,000 square miles. Collectively, they produce over 200 gigawatts of energy per hour. This electrical... E Linear motor. That's right. Guiding coils are underneath all the floors. Wow. This is all really impressive. Seems to be in good hands, too. Mm -hmm. The system continually makes minor adjustments in order to efficiently reflect the massive amount of thermal electrons. See you later. I'm sorry I can't accompany you all the way back. That's okay. I can take the monorail to the hotel. Bye. I hear those guys did it again. Oh, man. Yeah. How many times does that make this month? What can the guys upstairs be thinking? I know, it's too much. And we're the ones who always get caught in the crossfire. At this rate, it's only a matter of time. Had a streak of guys not responding well to the treatment. Yeah, we even bumped the immunity suppressor up 150 units and still no effect. <laughs> Mr. Hidaka, what am I doing here? Uh, uh. What's this all about, anyway? What have you been hiding? I didn't want to have to do something like this to you, Annas. But I knew I wouldn't be able to restrain you. You chose to become violent, that is. Mr. Hadaka, who were the people I saw being carried in here? What is going on in Heaven's Gate? Ah, yes. Those were unfortunate failures. Mishaps on the way to the creation of a new form of life. A new humanity. No, it wouldn't be fair to call them humans. They are a new life form, neither human nor machine. Natural selection? Afraid I don't have the patience to wait for Darwin to catch up with me. A decline in the physical form leads inevitably to the decline of the psyche. Aging catches up to everyone, even those with the healthiest of human bodies. But cyborg conversion provides an eternal body, an eternal house for the spirit within it. You yourself are a cyborg. Surely you can understand. So you're new about me. Well, you're dead wrong. It makes me sick to my stomach when I remember that my body is full of machines. I've had enough of cyborgs. I guess I must have misjudged you, Mr. Hidaka. You are nothing but a maniacal fascist! No! Mankind, as a species, must move forward to the next evolutionary stage. Until that's done, there will be no way to bridge this terrible gap. The gap between our technological progression and the static state of our bodies. Soon, the industrial civilization mankind created will bring about mankind's demise. I'm surprised if you of all people would understand. No, I don't understand. All I've ever wanted is to live out my life as a normal woman. I don't understand your dreams at all. Very well. 
But I'm not giving up on you yet. I will make you understand. I will make you one of us. <laughs> Take us to Central Police Headquarters. Gotcha. Huh? Hey, Oro. It's been a while, hasn't it? Hey, Chuck. This is the body we found in Area 13 yesterday. What? Look at the layout of artificial muscle cables on this guy. They're exactly like the development plans we were working on when I was with the Borgman project. Hassan, you mentioned something before about another person who was working on the project. That's right. His name was Hidaka. Huh. If I'm remembering this right, the man Anna said would get her into Heaven's Gate went by the name of Hidaka. She said she would contact us no later than 4 o'clock. And it's 6 o'clock now. Anna never leaves people waiting around. Something must have happened to her. Hey, what's all this you're saying about Annis? Chuck, what did you do? Well, I'm sorry, but our hands were tied. So I asked Annis to investigate activities over at Heaven's Gate for us. Then that's where I'm going. To Heaven's Gate, wherever it is. Okay, the Beaky and I get to go with you. We'll leave our badges behind this time. What about me? Can I tag along? <sighs> Hassan, you're just too cool. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Brings back memories, huh? Never thought we'd use these again. To tell you the truth, Chuck, I'm hoping we won't have to. guys are cyborgs just like us. This isn't gonna be easy, so let's just do what they say for right now. Sounds like a plan to me. I don't want to start anything I can't finish. You must understand, Ennis. It's quite possible for me to simply configure you to do exactly as I wish. However, I will only use that power if you force me to. Ro! And Chuck! Annis! Why, this is wonderful. I was hoping I could arrange a meeting with the two of you, and here you are. So you're the one they call Hidaka. What the hell do you think you're doing with Annis? I'm not going to do anything to her. I merely want her to be an addition to my team, that's all. And you think tying people to chairs will help convince them to join up? Can't say I like your style, Idaka. I'm afraid this conversation is going nowhere. I'd hope to meet you under rather different circumstances. Anis! Don't move. <laughs> After being shot at this proximity, I doubt she could walk away. After all, you can't mechanize the brain itself. How dare you call yourself a scientist? I wouldn't even call you a human being! Hmm. This is unfortunate, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to kill you two. She, on the other hand, still holds promise. May take a while, but she'll see the light. No! <gasps> okay. They went up in an elevator. We'll have to find another way. This way! Miki? Miki, this is Chuck calling. Come in. Over. Miki here. What's up? It's just as we thought. Hidaka's the one behind it. He's kidnapped Annis and we're pursuing them both right now. I read you. We'll be right there. Hurry up! Coming! Who 
are these guys? They must be cyborgs the Doc has managed to create here. I can't believe you pulled it off. We don't have much time. Let's make a break for it. Let's go. Right. Damn, they're crawling out of the woodwork. And it looks like the guys we left behind want to join back in. Guess we should have finished them off. Looks like we chose the right hall to come down. Yeah, but you sure took your time. Oh, well, you're welcome. You really did a number on them. Hey, roll! Uh, I'm coming. There's no reason to complain when your butts get yeah, saved, yeah. boys. Hassan, we've got to find a way upstairs. That's where they took Anis. Got it. Where do you think you're taking me? There's something I'd like to show you, if I may, in this. Once you see it, I'm sure you'll understand what it is I'm trying to accomplish with my work. It doesn't matter what you're about to show me. Now that those two are here, all your plans are coming to an end. <laughs> by now, they've been apprehended by my little evolutionary mistakes. But I suppose it can't hurt to take precautions. Mark, Bros, you two stay here and finish them off. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on, Hassan. Can't this flying heap go any faster? I'm afraid not. And it's gonna take a while to find a way upstairs in this place. This complex is huge. Huh? Is this the linear car they were in? Yeah, I think so. This thing goes all the way to the top floor. Top floor? Huh? He's true to us. You head up the stairs. Gotcha. I'm out of here. They're all yours. Be right there, Annis. Damn, how thick can that armor be anyway? Ah! That doesn't. Now's our chance. We've got to split up. Right. Shut! Hurry! It's no use, Anis. Doubt even you can break out of those bonds I've placed you in. You may be a cyborg, but your abilities are limited, not much greater than those of a normal human being. But if you join me, I'll be more than willing to enhance your capabilities many times over. It's Ro! 
Stannis! I see you got past my hunter Borg men. Let Annis go, Hidaka! <laughs> what excellent timing. You shall have the honor of being my trial target. thousand times it won't matter your weapons have no effect on Omega what what kind of creature is this well my dear what do you think of Omega's reactive shield stop it why are you doing this <laughs> Omega has not yet tested himself on the field of battle. Your friend makes an ideal test target. I'll teach you how powerless you really are. Uh, man, this thing's powerful. Yet, the young man's practically begging for more. Take a look. <laughs> as far back as the early stages of the Borgman project, I was conducting independent research. No. I sought to create a cyborg that would be a perfect no. union between man and machine. See for yourself. Behold my Omega, a perfect cyborg, with no meddlesome human emotions. He feels only what's absolutely essential in combat. Borgmen like you and he were only enhanced to minimal standards. There's no comparison. <laughs> It, but it's better to be on the safe side. Damn. Hmm. <gasps> <gasps> Gee, surprised it took so long. <laughs> this is too easy. No!
Looks like the little man had a final burst of energy in him. to go into overload. Good, Omega. Time to stop playing games. Go ahead. Crush him! Isn't it ready yet? If that Borg man catches us now, we're screwed. Calm down, it's under control. There, all done. Looks like we made it just in time. Huh? What is it? Is he coming? I think so. All right, over here. This better work. <laughs> Looks like you two took care of your share pretty well. Chuck! Oh. I'd love to rejoice with you, but Ro and Annis are waiting. Right, let's go. Just a little more. I've known they would be a cyborg like you who would ruin my beautiful plans. Ennis, I wanted you to understand. For human beings to leap forward in their evolution, they must accept their destiny and embrace fusion with machines. But you, you're a cyborg who's actually attached to her humanity. Come to think of it, my former associate, Memory Jean, was attached to the very same thing. to evoke any more of memory's wrath than I already have.
Chef, come back! Over there! Ennis, roll! Hey, buddy! Hi, right, Chuck. I guess you made it. Are you all right? Yes, Prime Minister. I don't know where to begin. Oh, yes, sir. I'll have some harsh words for her. Oh, of course not, sir. Of course not. I would never dream of even asking... Yes, sir. Please, Prime Minister, I humbly ask that you give this matter full consideration on my behalf. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful day. You idiot! Oh, really now? Listen, Grandfather. Now you listen! I can't believe how reckless you are! How utterly uncontrollable! You haven't listened to a word to Shinobu and I have said! Well, this time you're going to pay. Do you realize that you've tarnished this family's reputation? Thank heavens I backed the Prime Minister during the party elections. In any case, you'll be spending your days sitting quietly at home for quite a while! Is that clear? Yes, sir. Hey, Miki, who are those guys standing behind you? <sighs> My babysitters. I don't see Annis. I guess she's not coming after all. Mm-hmm. She needs to have a life of her own, I suppose. Maybe so, but you'd think she could still come around to say goodbye. Attention, please. Those passengers using space plane flight 23 okay, for Los Angeles. Okay, Ready? Yeah. Starting at 3.30. Please come to the gate Later. for boarding. I'll come out and visit you guys soon, once things have calmed down a bit. I'd better hit the restroom before takeoff. You go ahead and grab a seat. Okay. Uh. You still got your teddy bear. You think you'll hold on to it for much longer? I'm not letting him go anytime soon. <laughs> 